Hello, this is Robert with Beyond 20. Today, we are going to be working in the Report Designer, specifically with images and hyperlinks. Just some quick background on our specific ShareWell instance. We want to track customer expenses. So we've created a business object called Expenses, which includes a URL to download the receipt. Our current report shows information about the expense. However, it does not include the receipt. So we're going to create a link using an image that links directly to that receipt. Now most cloud-based document management systems, such as ShareFile, Dropbox, will allow for you to generate a unique link to download a specific file. In this case, we're downloading the receipt for a specific expense. The image that we're going to use is actually already located on our, on our computer. For a small icon, I would recommend something around 16 by 16 pixels. Let me show you how we get that implemented. Click on the designer. On the left hand side, we want to select the picture box. Drag that to a workable space in the report. On the right hand side of the screen, under the property grid, we want to actually select the image that we're going to use here. Under data, select image, click on the ellipsis. And here on our local computer, we have an image file called downloadblue.png. Now, I would recommend a PNG file as it'll give you transparency. Now that we've inserted the image that we're going to use, we need to connect it to the field that contains the URL to the receipt. So also on the right-hand side, under data bindings, we're going to expand that out. Make sure you select navigation URL. And we're going to set that to bind to the correct field that contains our URL. Now you'll notice that the picture box here is actually quite large. And we want to resize that down. You can drag the image and resize it through the mouse pointer or just edit the size properties. Since this image is 16 by 16, I'm going to give it a little extra space and input 20 by 16 in here. Now I want to place this to the left of the description so you can click on the image and pull up the receipt that's associated with that specific item. So I'm going to resize the category field on here and then drag the image up to the top. And now let's make sure that that worked. Clicking preview, I see my folder icon here. It looks like I need to move that down just a hair. So I'm going to go back to my designer. Clicking on the image and holding down the control key allows you to resize it and move it to a specific pixel. That looks a little better. Now let's make sure that the link actually works now. So this dinner with project managers is about a $38,000 expense. Probably going to want to keep that receipt handy. Clicking on the link opens up the receipt. Here I can verify the receipt that's attached to that expense. Going back to the report designer. I can see that these other links are also active when I hover over this. And even in the HTML view, you can see that this link is actually working now. When the report is saved as a PDF, the image of the folder icon will also be clickable. And that's how you insert an image and link to something else. Thank you. This is Robert with Beyond 20.